not even my fault. Jennifer Brennan was a popular character on Shipping Wars, but then when the show came back in 2021, she was nowhere to be seen. And since then, everyone's been wondering what happened to her. What is she doing now? Is she still driving a truck? And what about her personal life? Well, I did some digging. Oh, and bust my tail and... And then I'm like, oh, I didn't even make an episode. And you guys won't believe what I found out about Jennifer and what she's been up to these days. Jennifer gained recognition through her role as a shipper and transporter for hire. Shipping Wars showcased her expertise in bidding on and transporting large, fragile, and valuable items across the nation. Her skill set as a shipper handling unconventional cargo propelled her into the spotlight. Her competitive spirit and accomplishments on Shipping Wars earned her not only a prominent spot in a male-dominated industry, but also a big following of fans and admirers. But how did Jennifer develop such a huge passion for this male-dominated career path? Well, interestingly enough, her journey to shipping wars was paved by her love for horses. This passion bloomed into a full-blown commitment after she graduated from college. According to her, she's been into horses her whole life. She grew up with them on her family's cattle ranch in Texas. She's always been very good. She rode them, she loved them, she cared for them. They taught her so much about life and about being responsible. As she gained more knowledge and experience, her passion only deepened. Eventually, she turned her love into a career by transporting horses from one place to another. Her business flourished, and she also started transporting different kinds of animals, including camels, bulls, and even goats across the globe. Eventually, this led to her becoming a cast member on Shipping Wars. The show centered around her profession, giving her a platform to share her expertise and gain widespread fame. But despite her becoming a fan favorite, Jennifer has managed to keep much of her personal life hidden from the media's prying eyes. Very little is known about her life, although we do know some things. Jennifer was born on February 11, 1969 in Los Angeles, California. She's currently 54 years old. Despite being born in LA, Jennifer was actually raised in Alabama. As for her education, we don't know really much about it, although it's likely that she is pretty well educated. Jennifer seems to believe in the idea that private matters should remain private, while public aspects can be shared. Jennifer is a woman who defies the norms. I mean, she's a truck driver, even though she's a pretty mature woman with an outgoing personality. As for her love life, well, let's just say it has seen its fair shares of highs and lows. She was once engaged to Todd Foster, a former American boxer who was also her longtime partner. Their relationship lasted for several years, during which they became parents. However, their journey together took an unexpected turn, leading to a separation. Unfortunately, we don't know the exact reasons behind the breakup, but on a brighter note, Jennifer is a dedicated mother. Successfully managing her role as a parent, she and her former partner welcomed their first child in 2013, and she also welcomed a second child in 2018. We don't exactly know who the father of her second child is. Reports claim that she and Todd went their separate ways before 2018, but Jennifer has refused to address these rumors, so we really just have no idea. In terms of finances, Jennifer's approach aligns with her preference for privacy. While her net worth isn't publicly known, estimates suggest it could be around $60,000. Much of her income is likely derived from her work as a transporter and reality TV personality, affording her a comfortable lifestyle. For each episode of Shipping Wars, she reportedly earned about $1,000. But I think we're all wondering, what is Jennifer actually up to nowadays? Right now, she appears to be working on her own business ventures. It looks like she's established her own transportation company, Tie Him Down Transport. She's also associated with Topanga Scents, a US-based company specializing in natural fragrances. Her entrepreneurial endeavors have also expanded to the digital realm through her website where she does online orders, but Jennifer hasn't forgotten where she started. She still orchestrates the movement of furniture, vehicles, and even livestock across the nation. On top of all this, Jennifer also holds the distinction of being a certified accountant, so it sounds like she's pretty busy these days. Right now, Jennifer reportedly lives in Texas with her two sons. As a dedicated single mother, she is deeply invested in providing her children with a nurturing environment and a fulfilling life. Her commitment to her family is evident through her active presence on social media, where she shares glimpses of their lives and her personal pursuits, including swimming, gym workouts, and horse riding. From her introduction as the Texas girl in Shipping Wars, to her present role as a successful businesswoman and devoted mother, Jennifer exemplifies the pursuit of passions and the ability to reinvent oneself. She's a woman who values her privacy, cherishes her family, and has made a mark in the world on reality television through her role as a shipper. Speaking of the show, apart from the funny parts that kept everyone glued to the screen, there were also a lot of learning hidden in there. 
Shipping Wars was all about freight company owners bidding for jobs on a big online auction site. The show first aired in 2012 and it ran for nine seasons with over 100 episodes filled with comedy, business, and work relationship. People valued the show differently. Some focus on the huge items being shipped, some enjoy the silly acts of Jared Joyce, and others dig into how auctions work. So for those who love comedy and those who enjoy the business side, the show was a hit until it ended. But what really happened? Why did Shipping Wars stop? Let's figure it out. The show had a bunch of cast members who competed to move big and unusual stuff across the country, making the show entertaining. The show paused between 2015 and 2021 because something unfortunate happened. They needed this break to grieve the loss of their friend Roy Garber. A lot of fans knew him as a jack of all trades. He was a truly unique soul on the show, full of passion and energy, taking on everything with a smile. His passing hit everyone hard and it wasn't easy for the cast and viewers. Even today, people send condolences to his family. The show still went on, but Roy's absence was deeply felt. The producers and cast paid tribute to him and it was clear that no one could replace him. His energy, his spirit, and his skills were truly one of a kind. But while many fans thought Roy's passing could be the reason the show stopped, it wasn't the only factor. Some people also pointed out that the viewership dropped and the show wasn't making as much money as before. Maybe it was a combination of all these factors. But whatever the reason, Shipping Wars had a great run. And we'll just have to wait and see if it ever makes a comeback. I think I speak for everyone when I say we all love to see Jennifer back on our screens. Let's hope for more excitement and positive vibes from both old and new shippers. Don't you all wish for that too? Wouldn't you love to see everyone back? Let me know what your thoughts are on all of this in the comments below.